Now, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our national Q&A call. We're going to get started right now with news you can use. The Renters' Bill of Rights. There's always a, a cause for the government to come and, and decide that we need some more regulation and some more things. And they have announced today that the uh, White House has announced today that they are uh, standing behind and writing cur uh, currently a Renters' Bill of Rights to ease the tenant crisis. Now, I wasn't aware there was a tenant crisis. The heart of the article deals with the fact that rents keep going up. Unfortunately, these guys haven't read their own news. The rents have gone down about 14% in the last six months nationwide. They're not going up, they're going down. Nonetheless, um, they have announced a blueprint for a renter's bill of rights. It's going to include the following at a minimum. You know, they'll add to it once it, they decide to publish it. The uh, They argue that renters should have access to housing that is safe, decent, and affordable no disagreement there have a clear and fair lease that has defined rental rates rights and responsibilities I think that's actually probably a good thing to know your rights and be protected from unlawful discrimination and exclusion now when you read into the detail part of that is going to include free lawyers to represent renters when it's time for eviction so even if you have a rightful you're a landlord you have a rightful eviction or rightful cause under which to evict somebody you're going to end up fighting the u.s government because they're going to supply lawyers it looks like to fight that uh, number four on the list is be able to organize without harassment from housing providers or property managers. So and also in the detail on that is basically federal government is authorizing trespass. In other words, it's illegal to trespass in the United States in every state, except if you are a renter and the government's going to cover this from that standpoint. So in other words, you will get legal defense if you decide to trespass on somebody else's property and protest. It has to be because of a protest. So. If you want to trespass and break a window in somebody's house, uh, just make sure you, I guess you carry a sign that says unfair landlord beating our tenant, that kind of thing, whatever. It's just, this is just crazy stuff, but I don't make the news. I just report it. And finally, have access to resources that help them, renters, avoid eviction and avoid future instability. They are looking at a bill, not included with this, but they are looking at a bill that they talked about last year that will ban uh, evictions. You won't be able to be evicted from a rental house. Now, what that's going to do is essentially wipe out, in my opinion, the rental market, the single family home rental market for sure. Maybe not the apartment, but there's no landlord in the world that will want to rent under these kinds of new federal mandates. Some of the state stuff is goofy enough as it is. California's got some unusual stuff here and some of it's good and some of it's bad, but uh, you know, a lot of it is crazy, no matter if it's good or bad. The stuff these guys can think of, it's, it's amazing. But on a federal basis, if you essentially can no longer evict, and you automatically, if you're a landlord, one house and above, you allow everybody to trespass and to protest in your yard, and you have to fight any legal cause. The other side will be represented by a, a non gratis lawyer, free lawyer for them. That's gonna be a tough business to be in. I, I suspect that many of the 28 million single family owned rental homes, single family rentals, that are owned by primarily mom and pop landlords, these things will be dumped on the market. So this could, and we're gonna talk next week about, it looks like maybe the economy is starting to come back up again, which is good, really good news, but this will throw ice water, not just cold water, ice water on top of that whole deal because no landlord in their right head, right sense, will, like I said, want to be a landlord under those kinds of provisions. You will become, in essence, a enemy of the state, of the United States of America, if you are a landlord. So, okay, for all of us who went out and did burrs over the last few years to have a household to rent or house to rent because, uh, as they say, no good deed goes unpunished. That certainly is going to be some punishment coming up. This is a lot of this is couched in an executive order uh, that will be signed by President Biden because it's his idea and it, accordingly it will not need any congressional approval. So they're claiming that we still are under a COVID crisis and because of that they can pass these kinds of extraordinary measures as executive orders and so there is no oversight. You know in theory the constitution gives the chief executive of this country, the president of this country, some extraordinary powers in the case of a crisis. And uh, they took a page out of the California playbook where we, all you do is just make sure there's some crisis at all times. And as long as there's a crisis going on, and it could be anything from, you know, we, here in California, we've had fires to we've had some weather issues lately to, you know, we had some heat and we 
have problems with not enough electricity in the state. Those are all reasons to call a national crisis, or in our case, a state crisis. And they'll take that information and they'll turn that into uh, the ability of the executive in the state, and now in the federal government, to be able to pass, you know, basically uh, unilateral decisions on on things like this, on this, this sweeping housing order. So. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, you know, we can't stop it. The only thing that can happen is somebody will challenge it before the Supreme Court. And, uh, you know, I, I, I would assume that this will interfere with the constitutional separation of the state from private contracts. Probably would take about seven to 10 years to be ruled on, but it would probably eventually be ruled in the investor slash landlord's favor. And I don't know how this would affect, you know, there's still to come because this news just came out this morning. There's still to come whether this is going to affect something like a lease option or if you are selling under contracts. So I assume what this is going to probably do is from now on, nobody will want to own a rental, but they'll, they'll, they'll either ease out of rentals by selling them for cash or they'll turn around and uh, do something like a lease option or something like that that may circumvent this kind of landlord law. So it's goofy, it's crazy, and it's here to stay, unfortunately. All right, sorry I didn't have better news, but that is what it is. Okay, thank you for watching. If you get a minute, I would love to hear your comments about what you think of these videos. Feel free also to put in any topics down here in the comment section of things that you'd like to hear me discuss. Any questions you want, go ahead and put in here. We'll make sure we get a video on it when we get time. And as always, please like and subscribe. Hit that ring the bell button as well to get notified every time there is a new video. Thanks a lot, everybody.